Dear Crown Princess, distinguished guests and students, my name is Free Aftab and I'm the coordinator of this year's Global Vaccination Student Conference. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this year's conference, where the topic is Youth-Centered Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights in the Post-2015 Development Agenda. Last year, we passed an important landmark for SRHR, the 20th anniversary of International Conference on Population and Development. It has been made great progress since Cairo in 1994. Maternal deaths have dropped by almost half. Contraceptive use has increased and more, more girls are in school. Despite all these achievements, we're still facing many challenges. Uh, <clears throat> inequality, uh, stigma and discrimination remains as significant barriers to achieving the SRHR goal set. One in three women globally have experienced violence at some point in their life. Often this violence is less visible and more stigmatized. One in three girls in developing countries are married before the age of 18. This again causes deaths of girls between 15 and 19 due to early pregnancies, suicide, and a higher risk of HIV. And 800 women die every day during birth or pregnancies. To quote Dr. Tarek Mugid, women are not dying because of diseases we cannot treat. They're dying because societies have yet to make the decision that their lives are worth saving. Though the Sustainable Development Goals addresses many SRHR challenges, with universal health coverage, where universal is still defined as 80%, there's a great risk of leaving the same vulnerable key populations behind. The goals are also missing a clear human rights approach. Education is a cornerstone for sustainability. It, re it reduces child marriages and early pregnancies. Conce uh, comprehensive sexuality education is a key missing piece in the agenda, which is now followed up on and pushed for by youth. Today's adolescents and youth form a quarter of the world's population. Ensuring that youth sexual and reproductive health and rights are addressed in the post-2015 agenda is fundamental for shaping both social and economic development. Youth also have a central role in the societies. In many countries, youth are responsible for sexual and reproductive education. In Norway, we have the student organization MSO, who works with both education on different levels, but also with behavioral change. The Student Organization International Federation of Medical Student Association is working actively taking leadership amongst health workers to reduce stigma associated with uh, abortion. With the unique positions to which they can reach target groups, including young people and minorities, youth have a key role accelerating the education, empowering and working towards a future where human rights are ensured for everyone. In the beginning of a very important year, an historical year, the year of the SDGs, we have a responsibility to ensure that no one is left behind. I'm now looking forward to hearing your thoughts and input on how we can achieve that. I would like to thank the contributors, University of Oslo, Center for Development and the Environment, uh, the Research Council of Norway, and Birgit Kvernflaten for making this conference possible. And with that, I would like to give the floor to Advid Harlén, uh, who is the Director General of the Research Council of Norway. Thank you.